Heads up, this podcast contains some swearing. Previously on Lost in Williamsburg. Does the phrase uncle's neck mean anything to you? Your lips, they're so perfectly formed. Oh, yes, don't stop. Oh, ow, careful. I'm, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm speechless. I'd like to speak to Valerie Dunhill. Is she still here? I think so. I saw her in the back earlier. What is going on back there? Martha? Where's she going? Do you need some help back there? Hello? That does not sound good. Is everything okay? Where's security? Are you alright? Come on, Dale, get moving. Where are they? Which room? Martha, get it together. What's wrong? Do you need help? Yes, yes. No, no, no. Help. Stay out. Please. Is Valerie back there? Is she all right? Stay out. Jeff, Valerie, are you Sir, back there? We've got it under control. But we need help. Shit. What are you doing? Please, Deborah? let me help. Stay out of this. I'm a friend of Valerie. Mr. Tolliver? Deborah. Mr. Tolliver? Please. We have a situation oh here, God. and it's bad. Why? What's going on? Sir, stay <laughs> back. Valerie. Uh, stop. Oh, my God. Damn it. Valerie! Why did she do this? Oh, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. God damn it, Martha, help me out here. Call 911. I'm Mr. Right, Tolliver? Right. Mr. Oh, Tolliver. It's Valerie Dunhill. <laughs> She's killed herself. Yes, here at the library. Yes, help. She hung herself from a I goddamn need an rafter. Someone help. I don't know. Right away. Hold on, Mr. Tolliver. Sir, who are you and what are you doing here? I'm a friend of Valerie's. Who the hell are you? Look, she an ambulance is coming and they will take care of it. We can't just leave her up there. We have to do something. Hey, you listen to me. I want you to get the hell out of this office right now. No, I'm not going anywhere. There's a man Jesus here. Christ, get out of this office or I'll call the police. Me. Is there a knife somewhere? What? We have to we have to cut the rope. Oh she might still be alive. We are not cutting the rope. It is too late for that. You don't know that? What in the world's going on then? Hannah? Oh my god. Hannah, I need you to clear out the library right now but and take this man with this you. This is crazy! But how? How did you even get up there? Hannah! Stop yelling! Clear the library now! We are handling this! Trying. God damn it, Hannah! Get everyone out now! Okay. All right. Uh, sir? What? Sir, you need to come don't with me. Don't touch me! I'm not leaving Valerie! Sir, please! No, I'm not leaving! Deborah, I... He won't leave! What, what do I do? Okay, okay, just fucking forget about him. Why Get on the speaker so and make an announcement. Right. But what do I Why? say? I don't know, Hannah. But think of something. Use your brain. Pull the goddamn fire alarm. Shut all right, up. all right. I can't hear the Oh my operator. god, this can't be happening. Are you still there, Mr. Tolliver? Okay, okay. Right. I don't know who he I'm is. Calm. This doesn't make any sense. She was fine when she gave me that diary. What? What diary? Hold on, Dale. Something's not right here. I don't know what you're talking about. I heard you say a diary. No, I didn't. I didn't say anything. What'd I do with that diary? It must be at the front desk. Wait a minute. Where are you going? You told me to leave. I'm Wait. leaving. Mr. Tolliver, he just left. Everyone, we have an emergency medical situation in the back room, and I, I have to ask oh, that all remaining patrons leave the library ah, immediately. Where is it? Where is there's, it? There's no reason to panic. I left it's it right here on the, on the desk. desk. We need to have the library Didn't cleared. I? When the emergency vehicles arrive, ah, thank you. On. Where is it? Could someone have taken it? There it is. I must have dropped it. But what am I going to do now? Mom's got to see this. How? How am I going to get this out of here? Is anyone looking? Fuck it, I'm just going to take it. No one's going to notice. Hey, watch where you're going. Sorry. You? Excuse me. Hey, watch out, buddy. Excuse me. Damn it, Dale, you're too old for this shit. Wait a minute, where's the car? Where's the, where's the goddamn car? Oh, thank God. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Damn it, stop shaking! I've got a special announcement from the in studio guest. Take it away, Lauren Tasky. Hi guys. Valerie, what? Did you kill yourself? First of all, let me see. Because it's some crazy old woman's diary? There's gotta be more to the story. 
it's really meant a lot to us. Wait a minute, my phone! Before Damn it, these pants are tight! Mm. The Iris! Hello, Dale. Iris. Who is Hexabeth Blackheart? From Williamsburg. I'm sorry, I don't know that name. Uh, of course not, it's a stupid question. There are no stupid questions, only judgmental people. Jesus Christ. Iris, call mom. Did you say, call him? No, 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 call mom. Can you repeat that? M-O-M, -M. mom. Are you crazy? There's no need to yell. Ah, call mom. Okay, I've got it now. I think that's it. Calling mom. For God's sake, Mom, pick up! Hi, this is Margaret. I'm not available now. Please leave a message. Mom! Mom, where are you? Something awful is happening. I'm on my way home. Mom, where are you? I'm in bed. Where did you think I was? No, you didn't answer your phone! Well, the battery died. Why are you shouting? Mom, I told you to keep it charged in case of emergencies. I'm sorry, Dale. It's recharging now. Right in the middle of an emergency. Dale, calm <sighs> down. Oh, What's God, wrong? Mom, it's Valerie. Valerie? Is she all right? Listen, this is something very serious has happened. What? Oh, my God, there's no easy way to put this. Tell me. Valerie. <laughs> what? She's dead. Oh, my God. She hung herself <gasps> in the back room of the library. I was one of the first people to find her. Oh, sweetie. It just doesn't make any sense. Dale, you're shaking. Oh, my Come God. Come here, sit down. I cannot believe it. I'm so sorry you had to Ugh. see that. It was awful. Oh, sweetie. Oh, God. Mom, there's something else I've got to tell you. What? Remember when Valerie called this morning? Yes. She was insistent that I come down today. Yeah? Well, when I got there, she made a big deal about giving me this book. What is that? Diary, and she acted like it was a big, big secret. Really? Yes! Let me see that. Here. When preparing a persuasion potion, you have to use the freshest rat droppings? What? I know, it's crazy. Belong to this woman, Hexabeth Black, Black something. Blackard? You've heard of her? Sure. I've come across her name a couple of times. And did you know she was a witch? What? I know. It's totally ridiculous, but that's what she says. Well, I hadn't thought of that. But it would make sense. Aha! I knew you'd know something about this. That's why I snuck it out of the library. You stole it? Uh, never mind about that. Have you ever heard about somebody named Professor Joe Bryath? Joe Bryath? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Wait a minute, what's this? What? Watching Joe Bryath squirm was exquisite. Though I had pleaded ignorance, I knew quite well what happened at Uncle's neck. Uncle's neck? What is Uncle's neck? Dale, you can't mention this to anyone. Why not? Please, don't say a word. Why? What is going on? Dale, this diary... This diary is bad news. Bad news? Look what happened to Valerie. You really think she killed herself over this book? Trust me on this, Dale. But I'm your mother, and I'm begging you, don't say a word. And he was like, what? You play drums? And I was like, what, you've never seen a girl play drums before? So what did you do? I just wanted to punch him right in the face. I must be Zeph. Come in. Hey, guys. How's it going, Zeph? Well, you finally made it. Sorry I'm running late. Of course you are. You've been making a real habit of that lately. I just had to take care of some things. Whatever, I'm... it's fine. Let's just get started. Okay. So, I've talked to everyone I could think of about filling in on the Halloween gig. And I made that announcement on Caleb's show last Tuesday, which Zeph was supposed to help me with. Uh-oh, I think Zeph's in trouble. Leave it alone, Josh. Sorry. So what did you come up with, Lauren? Well, not much. Most of the musicians I know are already committed for Halloween. But I did get a few demos over email. Are any of them any good? Well, I haven't listened to them yet. That's why I called you here. I thought it'd be fair if we all just listened together. Well, let's hear them. Here goes. The first person is Kira Maso. She says... I heard you on Cacophony, which is my favorite show, and I think we might mesh really well. Well, if she listens to Caleb's show, that's a good sign. Give it a spin. I'm always dancing in the rain, and though you may think I'm insane. Oh, good lord. The rain will wash away the pain. Ugh, I hope they're not all this bad. We'll see. Next up, Brett Tucker. Girl, the look in your eyes is making me high. Oh my gosh. It's terrible. The moon's on the rise, and so am I. Next. Girl, I never... Ah, my ears are 
you're bleeding. Keep going, Lauren. What? Oh my god. Definitely not a singer. <laughs> Next. What's up, Virginia? I am sending you my old t-shirt. Please excuse the coffee stains. You know how much the distance hurts <sighs> my friend. Lauren, you could have saved us a lot of time if you had just whittled them down first. But I wanted to get everyone's input. Oh, another one just came through. It's gonna be crap. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. It's, um, Olivia Bryson doing an original song called... Toano? Or is it Toano? Let's hear it. Hi, this is Olivia, and this is a song I just wrote called Toano. Oh, Toano! Mama said, girl, you best dust off your bones and lose the fire. Don't let the summer pass you by. I kind of like the song. Compared to the others, she's a fucking genius. Yeah, she might even give Lauren a little competition. Whatever. Her guitar playing's not bad. Well, then why don't I get in touch with her and see if we can get something going in time for the show? I don't know, Lauren. I've been thinking about it, and with Aaron gone, why are we even doing this? What? You know, Lauren, Zeph might have a point. Oh, come on, guys. I don't want to give up. Not after all we've put into this band. Maybe it's just time to move on. It's been great and everything, but it's not like Cats with Benefits is ever really gonna go anywhere. Zeph, I can't believe you're saying that. I mean, sure, it started out just for fun, but I think we've really started to find our groove in the past couple of months. Well... And what are you gonna do for your last year, Zeph? Sit around with your thumb up your butt? Oh, come on, Lauren. I've got plenty to do. Studying, drinking, and figuring out how I'm gonna squeeze some kind of career out of my English degree. Uh, but... Lauren... You know Aaron was really the one behind all this. He did almost all of the writing, and you was our lead singer. Well, you did plenty, Josh, and I thought you killed it with your song at Aaron's Vigil. Sorry, that was a poor choice of words. Anyway, I'd like to give songwriting a try, and Zeph could do it too. I know you've got something to say. I do? Well, Aaron did say you helped him out with that song about Jordan. That's not true. The Girl Who Messed Me Up? Zeph wrote that? I just helped with a couple rhymes. Really? It wasn't really worth bringing it up. That's not how Aaron made it sound. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, guys. I'm just gonna say it. I know we're all thinking it. Everyone's pretending like Aaron's gonna come back, but he's not. He hasn't run off to Europe. He's not holed up in some hotel in Mexico with Professor Welsh. Something really bad has happened to him, and I think we should deal with that and put this band to rest. But Aaron wouldn't want that. Do you think, Josh? I have no idea. All right, all right. Um, how about this? We do one more show, the Halloween gig at the Equator. Aaron wrote that new song especially for the show, and I know he'd want us to play it. So we'll try to work out something with this girl, Olivia. And then after that, if you guys don't want to keep playing together, then fine. We'll put Cats with Benefits to sleep. But how would we even get ready in time? I can't blow off a week's worth of school just to get ready for this show. Well, listen, Zeph, how about this? We bring in Olivia for one night of rehearsing, and we just see how it goes. I can do that. What do you think, Zeph? I don't know. One night. Fine. One night, one rehearsal, and then we'll see. Ugh! Just look at her. She doesn't look the least bit sorry. As long as she's dead, I don't care how she looks. I have to admit, they fixed her up pretty well. Nice job with the makeup. And that high collar certainly hides the marks on her neck. Well then, I hereby make a motion to adjourn this meeting of the Valerie Dunhill Retribution Society. Very funny. <laughs> well, she is the reason we're all here. This is the day we've been waiting for. Then why don't I feel any better? Because this worthless murderer took your life away, and you're never getting it back. Exactly. How many people did you kill, Valerie? Good question. How many other lost souls are wandering around out there? What I want to know is, where is Valerie? What godforsaken corner of Williamsburg is her spirit hiding in? Well, she's certainly not going to hang out around here. Too scared to show your face, Valerie? Afraid of what we'll do to you? What could we do? It's not like we could kill her again. We could make her miserable. What do you mean? Follow her around? Torment her? I suppose. Damn it, Valerie, you cut my throat! And just watched as I fell to the ground. She stabbed you too? That's how she killed us all. That was her preferred technique. She drowned me. What? She drowned me out in the river. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. 
Someone's coming. Right this way, Mr. and Mrs. Dunhill. Oh, my God. That sweet little girl. Are those your parents? My beautiful baby. That's them, all right. Someone please tell me this is all a bad dream. I knew them both when I was alive. I'm so sorry, Mr. Dunhill. <sighs> it's just heartbreaking to see parents lose a child. Are you kidding me? <sighs> it's, it's just not right. It's not right. It certainly is not. No. You have the nerve to say that with this little kid standing right here. Do they know about her? What? That she was the old country road killer? Valerie, my baby. Mr. and Mrs. Dunhill, they don't have a clue. would you like some time alone with Valerie? I've kept tabs on them for years. Yes, please. I'll go speak with your guests. They never said one word about it. Thank you, Mr. Eubanks. Just let me know when you're ready, and I'll escort them in. <laughs> Thank you. We will. John, do you think she looks okay? Yes, honey. She looks... She looks just like she's sleeping. Go to sleep, baby. Go to sleep. No, 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 Valerie. We want you to wake up. Yes, there are a few things we need to discuss. Oh, Valerie, I hope you like the dress I picked out for you. I know it's not exactly your style. Why are you making her wear it? I know you never were fond of ruffles, but you look so pretty in it. That's up for debate. And here's that necklace I gave you for your 16th birthday. She probably hated that, too. I found it in the back of one of your dresser drawers. I called that one. Would you mind wearing it for me, honey? One last time. For God's sakes, why won't they let her wear what she wants to wear? Why are you defending her? Sorry. I'll just lay it right here, over your heart. It's beautiful. My baby girl. So what'd you tell them? That Valerie baby. They should know. I hope you found peace now. It wouldn't do any good. It would do me a lot of good. Whatever it was that troubled you all those years. To see them suffer. It's gone now. Like we've suffered. Jesse, I think I hear my sister in the foyer. Are we ready to let people in, honey? Oh, John. Well, I don't want to say goodbye yet. I know, but we shouldn't keep them waiting too long. Goodbye. All right. Sweet, sweet killer. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. Don't worry. I'm right here with you, Jesse. I'm right here. And so are we. I need a drink. You've been listening to another installment of the erratically scheduled audio drama Lost in Williamsburg. Tonight's episode was entitled Voices. This evening's cast included Martha Candler Smith as Martha, Elizabeth Barnes as Deborah, Will Houseman as Dale Souter, Dana Wood as Hannah, Louise Menjez as Margaret Souter, Kat Turk as Lauren Tasky, Reed Perkins as Caleb Souter, Jacob Wilson as Josh Ryder, Daniel Turner as Zeph Metcalf, Nora Knight as Olivia Bryson, Taylor Fisher as Brett Tucker, Sarah Corney as Kira Masso, Jenny Pudsey as Ghost Number One, Susan Branch Smith as Ghost Number Two, Josh Piker as Ghost Number Three, Francesca Sawaya as Ghost Number Four, Michael George as Mr. Eubanks, Philip Bircher as John Dunhill, Joan Turner as Jesse Dunhill, and Charlie Pudsey as the Ghost Boy. Additional voices by Jack Martin and Paul Hellyer. Tune in again next time as the story continues. Oh, crap. Megan's here. You're very warm blooded. I'm getting a strong vibe off you. I'll take the molly. How much? Josh, there you are. Thanks for ditching me earlier. This episode of Lost in Williamsburg, long delayed by the many distractions and obligations of the winter holidays, was produced, directed, blah, 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 etc., etc., by Philip Merritt, who says, Thank you, Anya London, for the use of the William and Mary Linguistics Recording Booth. Additional recording sessions were held at the lovely Barry Heavenly Beach House in Duck, North Carolina. And as usual, many of the sound effects used in the production were downloaded from freesound.org. Thank you for listening. This is your host, Caroline Corney, wondering what kind of people, if any, actually listen to this podcast. Do you have any questions or comments about the show? If so, drop us a line at imlostinwilliamsburg at gmail.com, and we'll try to respond at the end of a future episode. Oh, but before you ask, let me save you some time by saying, sorry, fellas, I'm taken. Good night.